All right, everybody, welcome back to the Team O'Neill YouTube channel. My name is Drew. You join us out here on a glorious winter day where we have a, a somewhat common occurrence out here. Uh, we have a car that has made its way off of the road and into a snowbank. So it's a bit of a precarious situation. We're on kind of a steep hill. Uh, the car is, you know, in pretty deep in that snowbank. So we're going to walk you guys through how we go about pulling cars out of snowbanks here at Team O'Neill. Okay, so in order to get this vehicle out, one of the things we're going to be using uh, is a kinetic tow rope. So this uh, rope has a certain amount of stretch and elasticity to it, which we're going to use to our advantage. So what we can do with this stretch is we're going to use the weight of the towing vehicle to kind of build up some energy and use that to pull the stuck vehicle out of the ditch. Uh, it typically is a little bit easier on the equipment involved to use a strap like this. Um, these are super useful things to have around. We use them all the time here at the rally school. All right, so how we're gonna go about pulling this out uh, might seem a little bit unconventional, uh, but there's method to the madness. It makes a lot of sense. So what we're gonna be doing is pulling the vehicle at an angle and gonna kind of twist it out onto the road. The reason we do that is pulling it in a straight line. In this case, that would be pulling the vehicle up the hill, which means that we're working against gravity, which isn't particularly efficient. It's gonna make this recovery a little bit trickier. The other thing as well is if I'm pulling this vehicle in a straight line, I'm pulling 100% of the weight at once, which again is more strain on everything, makes things a little bit more complicated. Setting it up so I'm pulling the car out at an angle has a couple of benefits for me. Number one being, I'm going to be pulling it onto the road more directly because I'm pulling it this way. If I'm pulling it straight, it's going to be less likely to come out of the snowbank as quickly. It's probably going to kind of stay in and again, make it harder to pull it back onto the road. The other thing too is that by pulling it from the rear, it gets the rear of the car moving first, which is the lighter part of the vehicle. The front end is heavier. So by moving the rear first, it gets that started. Then I can pull the heavier part of the vehicle out by twisting it onto the road. Okay, so now we're gonna hook up the recovery strap to the vehicle. We're gonna be using a bow shackle uh, in order to do that. Now with a bow shackle, when you put the pin through and start to tighten, Tighten it all the way first, and then back it off a quarter turn. The reason we do that is if the bow shackle stretches for any reason, you might not be able to, with your bare hands, actually loosen the pin. So by backing it off just a little bit, it kind of leaves a little bit of wiggle room built in there. So if you don't have pliers or something like that, um, you're not completely hosed in that situation. When it comes to hooking the recovery point up to this vehicle, uh, we do have two to choose from. It really doesn't matter, but being a little bit further to this side of the vehicle and this side of the road is gonna give us a little bit more of that angle pull. So even though it's slight, uh, we'll take any advantage we can get trying to get this car out. All right, so here we are. Uh, we're hanging out in the Jeep. We're getting ready to pull the Subaru out of the ditch. Uh, and what we're going to be doing with this, with this kinetic strap, is we can kind of do this recovery in a couple different installments. So we don't have to pull them out with one massive jolt of the rope. Uh, we can actually kind of do it in a series of little tugs and kind of pull it out little by little. It's kind of like hammering in a nail. You don't just take one big swing at it and try to put the nail in all at once. You do it little by little. So the first little tug that I'm going to give it is just enough just to kind of feel the slack uh, that I have in the rope and also just to kind of feel how much movement I get in the vehicle, which would kind of help me gauge how aggressive I want to go uh, with my tug, my first tug to get the vehicle out of the ditch. All right, Komar, I'm just going to take up the slack in this first one, just kind of feel it out a bit. All right. So in this first one, I'm just going to kind of creep forward nice and slow. Got the slack in the rope. I think I'm going to need a bit more bit more of a tug to get him out than I anticipated, but that's all right. Now back up, kind of build up a good amount of slack, and we'll go for our first real tug. All right, Komar, coming at you. Go away from me, go for it. All right, so get a little bit of momentum, getting a run, and whoop, there we go. Need another one. So I'm going to have to give him one more just to fully twist him out and get him back on the road. But you can see that you don't always have to do it in one run. So now, I should just be able to give him a little bit of a lighter tug on this one. All right, here we go. So getting that momentum going and tug. And now if I just whoop, I think it's gonna take one more. Let's 
hill's pretty slick. Alright. Off we go. And he's out. Right on. All right, so that was a success. We were able to get the Subaru out of the ditch without damaging either vehicle, which is really the name of the game. A couple little safety considerations uh, that we'd like to bring up for you guys. Make sure the person driving the vehicle that is being recovered uh, is really ready to get on the brake and pull it out. You know, once it comes out of the ditch, there's a lot of energy pulling it there. Make sure you're ready to stop it before it rolls into the vehicle um, that you're recovering, right? Uh, you know, these recoveries, you know, they might not look like a big deal just looking at you on camera but at the same time you know there's a lot of snakes in the grass here that you want to be careful of so making sure you're being nice and safe uh, and making sure you're eliminating vehicle to vehicle contact is uh, very important but the big takeaway you know the reason that we were able to get this vehicle out as efficiently as we did was you know utilizing the the kinetic characteristics of the rope that we use right a kinetic tow rope uh, you know allows us to use the weight of one vehicle to pull the other one out which is a very mechanically sympathetic way to do it um, it's also important to note as well that you don't need to do it all in one go, right? You saw with that recovery, it took us a couple of different attempts in a calculated manner, pull it out of the ditch nice and smoothly. Um, so don't try to do everything all at once. You want to do it nice and smooth, nice and easily. So there you go. Hopefully that's helpful when you're driving around this winter. Uh, if you come across someone in the ditch and you got to help them out, or maybe you end up in the ditch, hopefully this gives you a little bit of a frame of mind how to go about getting back on the road. So... Hopefully we see you out here at Team O'Neill at some point. If not, keep watching the videos. We'll see you next time.